What is going on guys, this is Big Rizzo, I want to wish you all Merry Christmas, and just short of 300 subs, so, you know, if anyone wants to help me out, tell your friends, but, um, today, this is a full out shout out for you guys, this is Merry Christmas to all of you, man, so, basically, this is gonna be talents, reforging, fucking, no, there's no more spec, but, rotation, how you're gonna survive, how you're gonna set up your burst, everything, man, so we're gonna look at first this talents, so, Despite the Siphon nerf, it's still really, really, really good. Tendrils is situational. You know, it's really good for stopping Stampede if you wanna, if you can't save your Fear Bomb. But ideally, you're gonna save your Fear Bombs for Stampede. But anyway, Siphon, definitely best choice still. Phantasm is by far the best talent in this fucking tier by a long shot. So, you're gonna take Phantasm every time. I'm gonna show you why you're gonna take that in a little bit. From Darkness Comes Light, this is really good for damage and survivability because this is your uh, Mind Spike procs. This is this is your everything. Mind Spike procs are your bread and butter. That's how you're going to get instant damage without even casting anything. If you're getting trained, you got Shadow Ward Pain out, you're still getting damage. And then Surge of Light, you know, that's when you're off healing and you're going to get uh, an instant Flash of Light proc, which is free of mana. So you can spam that all day and get those, you know, and still stay in the game. It is the best talent on this tree for shadow i used to play with instability but it just wasn't doing it so special guys um this is situational if i i like this because i'm playing human right now but i'm currently making a horde shell preach which is going to be goblin and i am not going to take special guys the reason is because you can use the rocket jump to land fears because of the special guys nerf it's really not you know worth it for you know all the survivability purposes instead it's just used for landing good fear bombs so definitely take um that if you're anything but goblin if you are goblin you could run angelic ball work it's pretty good i've played with it before but i really like desperate prayer most of all if you know if you don't have to take special guys now, I see some Shadow Priest taking Power Infusion. I I don't know why. I mean, I can't make any sense out of it. I, I have to take Divine Insight because this is just crazy. The instant Mind Blast, that's right on top of your Mind Spikes. You know, you got your two spikes that can stack up. Then you got a Mind Blast on top of it. If you have full procs, that's insane damage. And this last tier is controversial. So you can either take Divine Star or Halo. I like Divine Star because of the mana cost. It's, it gets shit done. And Halo is just so much mana. I mean, the heals are great, the damage is great, but it's just so much mana that you can't be affording. But Divine Star is like, it add, the heals add up to an instant flash of light, and the damage isn't that bad. So I'm gonna come back, and we're gonna have our reforges and gemming going on. So see you. Yo, what's up, guys? Big Rizzo coming at you with round two, and be looking at gemming and reforging. So let's go. So. My helmet, I keep it the way it is. I gem 80 intellect, 160 PvP power. I do that for the 180 um, PvP resilience uh, bonus. I'm not going to go all out because intellect is still nice regardless. But you're going to be wanting gemming. Um, you're going to be want money to gem Brazil for the most part. Sorry, I just derped. And keep your necklace the same. If you get the pendant of electricity, sorry, I pronounced that so wrong. But it gets haste and mastery. Those are your two stats you want to reforge to. Those are your key stats. So we're going to look at our shoulders now. Keep this the same haste mastery, all good. Full out 320 PvP Rizal. That's nice, that's nice, that's what you need. And then, once again, keep this the same because you got your mastery and haste. I enchant for 160 intellect. On my shoulders, I go 200 and uh, 100 crit because it's the only intellect one, as you might imagine. So on this, I'm actually going to reforge out of crit into mastery because mastery is better than haste. And I gem 80 int, 160 PvP power, and 320 PvP Brazil. I'm getting that extra 120 right there. Your bracers are fine. Keep these the same. Enchant for mastery. You're set. Now I'm a cheap bastard, so I want to win song on my um, on my mace. But you're gonna be wanting to get uh, what's it called? I think it's called Jade Spirit. That is so much better than wind song. But wind song's so cheap, so I just got it. But um, you're gonna get 160 on your offhand. Oh, by the way, you're gonna be reforging um all your crit on both your weapons and the mastery. And then your gloves, you're gonna be wanting to uh, reforge that spirit right at the hit. And then my belt, I gem 160, 160 PvP power, PvP Brazil, and then 320 in my buckle. And then my pants, you know, I actually reforged into, I fucked this up. You shouldn't reforge that, I just have that still from disc. So keep those the same. And um, I jumped 80 uh, in 160 PvP power and 320 PvP power. Now I'm just doing that for the bonus. But um, now we're gonna, sorry about that, Craig. We're gonna look at um, these boots. 
and I got the 140 mastery. Now that is really nice. And then you're gonna reforge out of crit, get the mastery, 320 PvP Rizel. And then um keep this the same, you're gonna need all this hit. And um what you can do is um you can um you can get double um, PvP trinkets like the burst ones because your plague is your entire burst. You don't need any um you don't need any cooldowns. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put both of these like let's say I had a mal trinket and um and a dreadful trinket and you can make two macros instead of my one burst macro that um pops um that pops the uh, what's it called that pops the burst and um you know with both trinkets and you it'll be better pressure than this but you know i had to get t2 so i um i didn't have enough conquest so yeah and then i'm gonna catch you guys at the train dummies yo what's going on guys rizzo here and you know this is recorded after the fact i'm gonna put this right in the video but um i'm gonna go over macros as well i forgot to mention that and do it so for shadow priest the way I do it, I really don't have that many macros. I tried playing with all these leaps. You know, I had all these leaps to target party members. That was just for fives. But I like to play mouse wheel up uh, up and down as target uh, party one and target party two. And that's going to allow me to just have this spell, um, like renew prayer many bubble, uh, key bound with no macro there, just the spell. And then whoever I target and goes on, and I have target myself is X. So that's that allows quick targeting. You don't, you don't want to be clicking your frames. And I also have a macro that um, casts my trinket and then casts plague. Now, be weary. You do have to redot after you cast your uh, or after you pop your trinket because you're gonna get more spell power that way. And then this is for disc. Don't worry about focus dot. And then I just have um, focus psychic core. You know, as you might imagine, just for peels. And then I have focus silence. So yeah, here's the next part. Guys. All right, what's up, guys? It's Big Rizzo again. You know, same video. I'm just doing this in segments. So now I'm gonna show you how to set up your burst. This is a way more efficient way than my um, guide on the Dar channel. Not way more. It's the same basics. So you know, you're gonna wanna have dots on two targets, full dots. You know, if you can't get VT out, that's fine. But you're gonna want that mana. So it also gets you divine insight. So look at one spike already. I already have three orbs. So when I'm gonna burst, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop my trinket in plague. And then I'm gonna redot, and then I'm gonna start using procs. Oh shit, that fell off. So look at I got my fucking procs coming in all at once, and then I'm gonna pop my siphon too. You know, don't do that if you're full mana. That's really stupid if you're full mana. But um, so I'm keep I'm gonna keep this shit going. And you might be saying, Yo Rizzo, um, I on a burst, but you know I'm getting trained by a warrior. So how am I gonna get orbs? And that is simple. So first off, you're gonna spectral guys, and then you're gonna cast from right out of spectral guys. It'll clear focus and target. So that's really nice. And then oh, I can't get uh, my blast off as spell, uh, against spell cleaves. No worries, fucking fade. You can't get countered on my blast. So that's one orb. You might have to wait for it every time, but I mean it's better than not getting any orbs out at all. So just be wise with your fade. Save it for things you need. And then I'm gonna come right back at you with more survivability stuff. All right, so here's. Basically, how to survive as a Shadow Priest. Now, every Shadow Priest knows this. Bubble, prayer mending yourself, and renew. You know, simple stuff, right? It does, it hacks away your mana, but that's fine. So, the not so known stuff, well, at least in my opinion, is basically using Fade and Special Guys to your advantage. Or if you're a Goblin, Desperate Prayer, or Angelic Bulwark, whatever. But let's say, you, you know, you're respected into Special Guys. So, if you're getting trained, the first thing, the first, first, first thing I do is I put down Cyphiend. You know, that's gonna, you know, at least peel someone. Can't peel warriors though, which is I think is completely stupid. But you know, because of Berserker Rage, but it's gonna get people off you. That's what you want. And then always fade. You can fade. I I like to fade clones, chaos bolts, anything big or anything predictable, like poly. You know, not like you know some instant shit that no one's gonna know. But um, also when you're not in a stun, if you have melee on you. Take advantage of spectral guys. You really gotta capitalize on that. You know, use it on cooldown. It is it's a very, very good talent, even with the nerf. And then I've been I've been over this in my um my video on the Dara channel, but you know, what's it's up? Um Cyphied can be used to eat hunter traps. If you can't MD because you're getting trained, your healer's gonna get trapped. You can siphon right on top of the trap, it will eat the trap. I've tested it, it works, it's a great strat. And then if you're, let's say you're floating like 50, 70%, you know, you're kind of in trouble, but you got three orbs. If you pop Empiric Embrace and Burst, you're going to get stupid heals. Yeah, and let's watch this. Look at, just taking 10Ks. Like, that is so unfair. 
just because of this um well just because i'm by, by myself it's not going to be as much but it is going to heal your entire group but um it's just stupid like capitalize on that like if you're if you know if you're getting trained but you have three orbs you can top yourself off basically just with that ability while getting out counter pressure i think you know shadow priests really do need to capitalize on such an op ability while you have it so yeah thanks for watching guys this is big rizzle and have a merry 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 christmas and just have a great holiday see you guys